So now let's keep track of a score. In order for us to keep track of a score, we want to check if the canvas is touched and our image sprite is on the canvas. So I'm going to go to canvas and I'm going to look at the touched event and I'm going to drag this and drop in here. Now I need to check if I touch the mole then my hit score is incremented by one. If I don't touch the mole my miss score is incremented by one. So I want to make a decision using if statement. So the first thing I'm going to do is get an if block that would be in control and I'm going to drag and drop the first one to make decision if then and drop the block here attach it here now right now if you see I have if then but I don't have else I want else because I want to check to see if the mole sprite is touched then the hit score is added by one else the miss score is added by one so I'm going to click on this blue uh, symbol for the design here and I'm going to drag this else and drop it inside this if and as you can see now I have if then else block. So the first thing I want to do is I want to check to see if I've touched any sprite. So I'm going to put my mouse over here touched any sprite and I need to get the value and I'm going to drop the block here. Now if the sprite is touched then my hit score should be incremented by one it's basically like x equals to x plus one so I'm going to say my hit score is equal to hit score plus one so I'm going to look at my uh, variable hits and I'm going to look for set dot text because I want to change the text here so I'm going to drag and drop this and put it here. Now I want to set the value for hits to something. And that something would be the hits plus one. So I need to do an addition, math addition. So I'm going to go to math and I'm going to drag this addition block and attach it here. Now I'm going to go to my hits variable again and I'm going to look for hits.text I'm going to drag this block and put it here and then I'm going to add plus one in here so I'm going to go to math and I'm going to get the first display block and put it here and put the value in here as one so I'm going to do the same thing for my else if I don't touch the sprite then I'm setting the miss uh, to miss plus one. So I'm going to go to misses and I'm going to look for set misses dot text and I'm going to go to math because I need addition. I'm going to drag this and attach it here and I need to get my misses variable. So I'm going to go look for miss and I'm going to go attach this here and I'm going to go to math and get the zero value attach it here and change the value to one so now I got my score in action we need to test this out and see so right now this is my build and if I click on I missed you can see misses is two now if I click on the mole I got a hit I click on the mole again click on the mole again so every time I'm hitting the mole I get a hit score every time I miss the mole I get a miss score now the last thing I want to do is I want to reset my button so when I take a look at my designer, I have a reset button. Reset button means reset the variable scores for hits and misses and make it zero. So let's go to blocks. I'm going to look for my button reset and I'm going to drag this event when button reset is clicked. What should I do? The first thing I want to do is I want to set my uh, score to zero. 
I want to set my hit score to zero. So I'm going to go to hits and uh, I'm going to look for set text and I'm going to set it to zero. So I'm going to go to math and I'm going to track this and set it to zero. Also, I want to set my miss score to zero. So I'm going to go to miss variable and I'm going to look for text. Not this, not this. Let's go to mess again. I want the set text here. And I'm going to go to math and drag this, attach it here. Uh, let's test it again. And uh, let's click on reset. Hits is zero and misses is zero. 